What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure back with a new video. And I haven't done a video like this in a while just trying on clothes and giving you guys the latest trends. So that's what I'll be doing today and we'll be focused on fall trends. So getting right into it, I'm just going to go into the first outfit, which is this one that I'm wearing, which is just a basic sweatsuit. It's, the top is cropped, but this has been my number one seller since I dropped the fall pre-orders. Actually, the black has been number one out of this style, but overall, this style in general has been number one, which it always surprises me when it's something so basic and so simple that ends up being the number one seller. As I mentioned, black has been the number one color so far. I personally like this color more just because I like it on my skin tone. It feels more fall to me. Plus, I have plenty of other black outfits to show you guys for this video. And then, if you guys haven't seen yet, I now offer denim. So, this cute denim trench jacket will be so cute to throw on with this outfit as well. Fall is all about layering. So the more layers, the better your outfit looks. For whatever reason, in fall, layers tend to complete an outfit. Now this crop top that I'm wearing has been on my website for a while now as part of one of the basics. So this isn't something new. This is just a color that works for fall. Plus, I use it to pair with these faux legging joggers. This is one of my personal favorites so far from fall just because it's more edgy and a lot more trendy and faux leather always does so well for me come fall time. So of course I'm gonna continue with the faux leather. But that's outfit number two. And then for those of you that like the whole faux leather look, but maybe the jogger look is not quite your style, I also have the faux leather skinny, which is high-waisted. I love the high waist because it gives you such a nice shape. And because they're so fitted, it's really snug on the waist. And then I just paired it with this off-the-shoulder sweater, which is three colors. So there's two colors in the front and one in the back. This sweater comes in different colors, so I went neutral with this because it looked cute with the faux leather pants and doesn't take away too much from the faux leather look, but still a good combination. And just another way to wear the same sweater, you can turn it around so that way you can actually see the three colors on the front and the twist is in the back. Now you guys know I'm not taking off my bra, so if you saw it, welcome to my channel. That's normal. This next outfit is so me. I don't know why. It's just so cute. Very feminine, but very simple. So I just put on these skinny, high-waisted, pinstripe pants. They are denim with like a blue pinstripe on them. They're super cute, super comfortable, but still gives you a nice shape to your look. Even though I'm slim, so I don't really have much of a shape, but it still looks good on me. And then this top is the button-up tie top that came with a set. So this top really comes with shorts, but it's fall time now until I got to switch it up a bit and I decided to pair this top with the pants. And it's funny because this matches my nails really good. Which, by the way, this could be a potential nail polish vendor for you guys. So Nail Addict was nice enough to send me bottles of their nail polish to try out and show to you guys. And of course, when those opportunities come my way, I'm either one, looking at a business opportunity for myself, or two, looking at an opportunity for you guys. First, I did some research and I saw on their website that if you are a nail tech or you're looking, or if you're interested in selling their products in your store or on your website, you can definitely contact them to find out how you can get their polishes in your store or in your lineup if you're a nail tech. So let me just tell you guys, you may have noticed in my videos, I never really have my nails painted anymore. Trust me when I tell you guys I'm crazy about having my nails painted. I was always one to have my nails painted, but I work hard. Like I don't have time to keep up my nails anymore, especially since the nail polish tends to chip a lot and I don't wear fake nails ever. So I just stopped painting my nails and I was afraid to try gel 
just because I've heard from other people that it can ruin your nails. When no ad reached out to me, I decided to take that leap of faith and give it a try and trust me, I'm glad I did because I love this polish. I haven't removed it yet, so I don't know if my nails are damaged, but so far it doesn't seem to be so bad. Everything seems good. And I didn't have to worry about my nail polish chipping or becoming damaged or anything. And this has been a crazy week for me. This has been the week where all my pre-orders have been shipping out, so I've been shipping, sitting there packing up boxes. Normally, the tape will rip the polish off my nails immediately and my nails just look disgusting. But no, my nails are still good and I've had this polish on for almost two weeks now. So the color that I have on my nails right now is called Blue is the One. They did send me a few different colors, so I have this blue on right now. But they also gave me the option of receiving a few more other colors. So I got this olive because it was perfect for fall. I got this, wait, the color of olive is called Wonderland. Then I got Sandman, which I'm excited to try that one too. And of course I had to have a white. So this is called White Addict. Then on top of that, of course, I got the base coat, the top coat. And then they also had a remover which the remover was a definite for me because like I said, I was worried about it ruining my real nails. So once I saw they had a remover, I'm like, oh, perfect. This should definitely work out for me. So once I actually remove this color, I'll definitely let you guys know how that works. But just on the top coat really quick, because I believe there were two top coats on there. The one I have is the no white top coat, which works like a charm like it's been perfect for me so definitely check out nail addict you guys will love this polish because if i was a person that was against gel and i was willing to go with it and love it it must be a good product but anyway let me get back to the clothing this next look has been the number one seller when it comes to my denim collection from the moment i launched this collection this item has been checked out on every single order almost I absolutely love this. It is a tunic top, but it's long enough that some of us shorter people could wear it as a dress. So you guys know I'm going to be wearing it as a dress. Maybe put shorts under it, like short shorts or like biker shorts, just in case because it does have the side slit. So if the wind blows this, it is going to show everything. But I would definitely wear it as a dress. The belted fanny pack does come with it. And it also has buttons on the back that you can unsnap and wear it off the shoulder. The buttons were added specifically to wear off the shoulder, so you necessarily don't need to wear it up. I think most people purchased it because of the whole off the shoulder look, but you can wear it either way. You can wear it the, those back buttons buttoned up, so you can wear it as, you know, a full top or you can even wear it more like a jacket because it does have a little bit of weight to it but for me I would wear it as a dress off the shoulder with some thigh high boots. Now of course the denim jacket is optional but again there goes those layers. So yes you can throw on a denim jacket but underneath I have on this hoodie that has the mesh corset bottom on it and then just some basic black mid-rise skinny jeans. The top does have a zipper in the back making it easier to get into for those of you that may need more room or just feels more comfortable getting into the hoodie by unzipping the back. Now this jacket is another one of my favorites which there are two colors of it but for whatever reason I always gravitate towards the black. It's actually a heavier jacket and it is lined so you can wear it as a coat. But this jacket is super cute, part of my new denim collection. And I just threw it on with this top underneath, which is actually a sold out bodysuit. I don't have it anymore, but it worked well for this video, especially with this jacket, because it kind of has the orange in the tweed. And then kept on those same mid-rise skinny jeans from the last outfit. And then for the last outfit, of course, I had to do some type of tracksuit or sweatsuit because that seems to be the trend right now. The whole tracksuit look and the matching sets, that is the trend and very sporty. I have quite a few on my website, but I just picked one so I can throw it into this video. And then it is two separate pieces. I have the top tucked in because, again, that seems to be the look that everyone's going for and the way people are wearing it. Now, for those of you that do shop my website and are interested in seeing products and videos and trying on and whatnot, I know I haven't been doing it much on my YouTube channel, but I have been working on doing something on 
Instagram. So if you guys don't follow my business Instagram, you'll want to go check that out. I'm thinking of doing something on IGTV where it's more like that virtual showroom where you guys can see things live and it, or maybe not in person but in video. That seems to be the way everything's going right now thanks to COVID. Everything tends to be digital now. So you'll see more of it on IGTV. So make sure you guys go follow so that way you can see the different styles and all the colors that it comes in but that's it for this video make sure you guys go check out nail addict I also have a promo code that I'll be sure to link down in the description box because it'll save you guys 55% thank you for watching